So I cannot wait for you to experience it with us. It's an amazing journey. A group of people from Texas got in touch with me and they told me that they found out through some secret messages and they found out the exact location of the Ark of the Covenant. And all signs pointed towards the courtyard in front of the toilet mm -hmm. of the Holy Sepulchre. They asked for permission to dig there. They didn't get the permission, and by that it ended. Yeah. This strange story, but there are lots of people who think they know where the Ark of the Covenant is. Please tell him, tell them it is in Fort Knox. <laughs> we are now in the chapel of St. Helena, uh, named after the mother of Emperor Constantine, uh, Empress Helena who came here in the late 20s of the 4th century and allegedly carried out excavations in which he discovered the remnants of the true cross. The place of the discovery uh, is shown here in this place. Actually, this is an artificial cave. You can see the bedrock here uh, and the bedrock continues also behind this wall in the chapel of uh, Saint Vartan which is also part of the Armenian property within the Holy Sepulchre. This chapel uh, has an ancient quarry. Actually, this cave is man-made. It is the result of the quarrying, and you can see the imprints of the stones removed, or the scars of the stones removed, in the ceiling. The ceiling shows the remnants of the uh, stones which were removed, and they are large blocks used for public construction. It is not for some private house which needed uh, those uh, very large ashlar blocks. In any case, this quarry, uh, you'll be surprised, is of the 8th century BC, time of the Davidic dynasty, uh, some uh, 2700 years ago. This is much before the Christian activity here started following the crucifixion of Jesus in the 30s of the first century. Now, in this place here, there are lots of uh, interesting details. Uh, first of all, uh, we came down here by the steps and we are in an artificial cave. Second, the space here is subdivided. That half over there is Greek Orthodox. This half over here is uh, Catholic. Now, uh, the Greek Orthodox place there marks the alleged place in which the remnants of the true cross were discovered by Empress Helena. In the middle, there are remnants of a wall painting, which is not of uh, artistic value, and the date of which is not exactly clear to me. In any case, we are here at the altar, which belongs to the Catholics, and above it there is a statue of Empress Helena, to whom the place is dedicated. She is holding the true cross in her hands. At the bottom here uh, is a very surprising uh, dedicatory inscription. The inscription is dedicated to one of the Habsburg dynasty, uh, Emperor uh, Ferdinand of Mexico who was murdered in Mexico. This is one of the descendants of the Habsburg 
dynasty from uh, Austria, Vienna. Now the most interesting part in this whole complex is the uh, vaulting uh, which leans against uh, the uh, rock cut roof on top. You can see some holes for drawing water, meaning that this place served as a cistern. They gathered rainwater from the roofing areas around and through these holes they drew the water up. Now, if you wonder what is the date of these holes, uh, it is supplied by a cross in relief, which is visible here. Now, uh, the cross is Crusader. During the 12th century, they did not believe that this place of discovery of the cross. So, the identification of this place as the place of finding of the true cross is rather late. Behind this wall is the chapel excavated by the Armenian fathers and this is the continuation of the same quarry. The quarry is interesting because geologically there are here two layers of rock. One is less suitable for construction, kind of more softish. They left it as a roofing and they quarried underneath it. They quarried the royal stone or the so-called meleke, which is harder stone and it is meant to uh, serve for public construction. See them? Oh, yeah. There are thousands of them. This okay. bedrock is part of the hill of Golgotha. Ah. And it has patches explained as the blood of Jesus penetrating through a crack in the rock mm. formed as a result of an earthquake which happened at the time of crucifixion. Yeah. It's very interesting to watch people. You begin to understand the human psychology much, much better after a day of watching people here. We are now in the chapel of Golgotha, which is one of the most fascinating and most visited places in the complex of the Holy Sepulchre. This place is elevated above the level of the rest of the church and actually it is a rocky outcrop. It is a rocky cube which was left here uh, from the original hill of Golgotha sown by Emperor Constantine. The chapel itself is subdivided into two halves. This half in which we sit right now is Catholic the other half, the more important one, of course, is Greek Orthodox. Each of these two halves has an altar at the back on the eastern wall. Over there on the eastern wall, there is a Catholic altar, which is decorated with small plaques of copper. Uh, they are Italian Renaissance, 15th century. Now, in the middle, between the Catholic altar and the uh, Greek Orthodox chapel, over there, there is a kind of a closet. It includes pure gold objects, abundance of them. In the center, there is a Madonna. This is the Madonna of Portugal. And she is surrounded by the arch itself on the inside is made of pure gold. In the Greek Orthodox half over there, underneath the altar, bedrock is exposed. That is the summit or the top of the rock of Golgotha. And in the rock, there are some depressions. The central one being under the altar is the one towards which many of the pilgrims crawl underneath the altar and want to kiss that place. That is the place where the cross stood. According to the Gospels, Jesus was crucified with thieves. Yes. And uh, there are remnants, allegedly, of uh, some, some other poles uh, being secured to the rock. In any case, that is the bedrock underneath the altar. It is very carefully kept by the uh, Greek Orthodox monks, and it is one of the targets of uh, the pilgrims coming to Jerusalem. So where they're crawling underneath the altar, that's the presumed area where Christ crossed. The exact spot. The exact spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
That's it for this particular interview. Thanks for joining me. Really excited to take this ongoing journey with you as we keep bringing more content. If you haven't already, you really should subscribe to this channel. There's a lot of phenomenal content coming down the road into the future that you'll want to know about. Leave a comment down here. I think people would love to hear from you and then you can hear from them too. If you liked it, go ahead and give a like. It only takes half a second and share this with people that you care about. The world needs more light in it right now. So thanks for being with me. Hope to connect with you again soon. Thank you.